guys, it's watching because you want to know me. My name is AJ. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Build a City. We just started our construction site skyscraper. Wow, what a tongue twister. And it's looking really cool. I've done a little tiny bit of work off camera. I've put the walls up on the first floor so you can actually sort of go through. Of course, it's dark in here because we don't actually have any... Um... Hey, can I get into this section? Is there? No, I can't. I need to, I need to make a door. <laughs> that's that's bad construction right there. So yeah, the floor, the, the walls are all done in here. We have no electricity wired up into the skyscraper yet, so there's no lights, obviously. And the same on this level as well. This level has all the walls up. This level has the walls just sort of in the ground, and uh, and then it sort of goes off, and there isn't any walls there. So I've done that. First thing I want to start off by doing is doing the completed sections. I've done a little bit here. I want to do the completed sections of the skyscraper down on the bottom. I love this floor style that we're doing here. Ooh, um, you know what? I'll just leave it like that. It doesn't need to be all all done. This part could be in like this. Oh, and don't forget these two. All the way around like this. It's so cool having these bottom. I love the colours as well. When I was thinking about the colours, I must admit, I wasn't a fan at first of having brown in a skyscraper now i don't know if it's because we're only doing part of the skyscraper like done in this color or what but i really really like it i really i'm half tempted to build a brown skyscraper which is something that you don't really see all that often uh but it, it just looks so good it really really does we want that one oops and that one Ah, uh, no i can leave that one no i'm gonna fill that in and that one, and that one, and that one. It, the the window sizes are just working out absolutely spot on. The next thing that I want to do after we've done this is put some wooden scaffolding around the place. Uh, around just the sort of bottom few levels is sort of the, the idea. Oh, it worked out perfectly there as well. This can all be solid wall, no windows in on this side. But yeah, just around the bottom two or three floors, and not all the way round either. Uh, you'll see exactly what I mean in just a moment. Can I get a window in there? Nope, not evenly. So we fill all that in. And then the last one down here. I'm just so pleased on how this is turning out. On this one, uh, have a window in there, a window in there, a window in there, a window in here. And there. And that one worked out brilliantly as well. Superb. Okay, the second layer is the one that's sort of in construction. Some of it is completely done, but some of it some of it isn't. I think this one can be pretty much completely done. So we can have this running. Am I missing a block? Did I I think I, I accidentally hit a block there, yeah I did. There we go. I thought I I thought I accidentally hit a block then. Now on that one. Bunk. Bunk, bunk, and uh, bunk, and yeah, this one was filled in, so I'll fill in like that. This one can be completed as well, because I think it'll just look good having like the corner done there. But then this section is going to be half done, so we're going to do it something like that, and then this one is the last one to do because I've already done the other ones off camera. And this one can be mostly done, but still uh, not completely. So we'll have something like this. Like that. Just a few few little ones missing at the end there. It looks so cool, doesn't it? So the scaffolding that goes around the outside, what do we want? We want like a wood. <coughs> <coughs> yes, I still have it. I still have the cough. So, uh, we want wooden varnishing frame. Hold on. No. I thought maybe it looked a little bit like scaffolding. Uh, these are, are really decent looking. What do they look like if we actually put them on the building? No. I No. Slab. I'm going to go with... Oak. I was thinking about using the fire bricks, but I like the wood better. And we want 
scaffolding on this level. I think three blocks out would be good for the first layer at least. We might go thinner on layers higher up. So what we want to do is we want to put a little bit of a platform in here. Now I want the platform to come around. I want it to come down this side. And I want it to come out here and down this side. Oh, all the way to the end. Three blocks uh, thick to walk down so the uh, workmen, uh, construction people, builders, whatever, don't have a, a problem and worry about falling off. Down this way as well. Missed the block. And down this one. Now, I'm not going to go all the way around the skyscraper. I am going to go down a little bit of the side that I haven't been down yet uh, on that side. Uh, but I'm not going to go all the way around the skyscraper, skyscraper. We don't really have the room to go around the skyscraper. And I don't want to, like, pack it out too much. Uh, but I just want to come down this side just a little smidge. Just so it looks good from no matter what angle you approach this from. You have to sort of think about uh, your viewpoints or, or, of different areas. I think we'll come down to about there. We want fences, obviously, to hold it up. And we're going to have to have full blocks around at least this section so the fences actually join up to it. So we have it all the way around like this. Whoops. Uh, did I need to do that? No, I didn't. Whoops. Nope. I had already pre thought about it without even realizing. I was trying to fix a mistake without you guys knowing when I didn't need to. No, we should be able to go straight. Yeah, straight underneath here. So we have that one coming down to the floor. I also want the first layer to be entirely fences up here. Or fence. We change it to this one. 113. Replace 85 with 113. Yeah, I like that better. Don't you? So we've got like the wooden part, but then we've got, I think this looks a little bit more like metal. And it's really nice because I think it's going to stand out against the other greys that we have in the skyscraper. We don't need to worry about it too much because we're not going to have this, the scaffolding going all the way up. We're only going to have the scaffolding for the first, I don't know, th two, three maybe four floors oops oops uh oh oh i've really messed up now down here this is why you don't want to go all the way around either because the, the more you go around the more sort of work you ooh, you end up doing for yourself had that way off there we go and this one yep now i don't want to leave that completely like blank that looks a little bit too weak so I think if we go every five blocks, would that be good? One, two, three, four, five. One right here. One, two, three, four, five. One right here. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's close enough. Uh, this one down here. And this corner one, and I think I'll have one in the middle as well. Somewhere in the middle. Doesn't need to be perfect. This is scaffolding. There, scaffolding isn't like bang on all the time. Um, you sort of build it where you can. Uh, I've actually got my own scaffolding set. One from uh, property de property development. One, two, three, four, five. It's about um, a three-story tall scaffolding. And uh, yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, it it helped me out an awful lot when we were doing um doing up a, a few properties. Uh, still got it in my shed. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, and it's like one of these ones that um, have like little wing nuts. So you sort of put them together. You put, get these like long poles and uh, and you sort of screw them together and you put the floors down. And it looks really good. It look, look, looks really nice. So we've got the first one in. The second one we have up on uh, this layer. Yeah, this layer. And I think this one will have also three blocks uh, deep. But we don't make it quite join up. We actually make it, we, we stop it a little bit premature about here, for example. Now I do have to put that one there so it joins up. And again, 
these go underneath. But see how it just stops a little bit before? It makes it almost like a little bit of a staircase going in there. So we have this one going around here. This going around here. You guys get the idea. Let me do this for a few layers and I shall be back. All right, I love it. So I went four stories up. And on the fourth one, I done it two blocks wide, thick, whatever you want to call it. Uh, instead of three, which leaves the uh, posts being in the middle, which I really totally love. Because you can imagine walking along here and sort of walking around them and stuff like that. I made sure as well to try and keep as many of these poles not in line as possible. So it looks a little bit more rickety, a little bit more sort of built rather than perfect, if you like. It's never perfect, is it? So it's perfect like, it's perfect like this, uh, to be honest. Now what we need is a ladder that goes up the outside here so we're gonna grab uh, I might go with the darker wood so it just stands out just a little bit more and we're gonna have this come up to like that we're gonna get ladder oh that's the oh how do these work uh oh I hit the floor and it froze <gasps> no way You can actually climb them. Oh, that is so cool, right? Yes. So we'll have one there, and I'll have a shorter one here that just goes up sort of two stories like that. Oh, that's so cool. We've got like a second ladder in the game that I didn't even know about. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, perfect. That just adds like a little bit more contrast. Makes it a little bit wider at the bottom as well. Makes it look like it sort of could stabilize itself and sort of cope with being as tall as what it is and being unfinished it's sort of everything is el else is sort of holding it together gluing it together now what i want to do is now that we've got this sort of room i don't have to build around like have scaffolding going around it on these levels here i want to get some slabs just some gray slabs they sort of stand out the best i think on the front here and maybe on this level I just want to loop this round on the next few uh, floors. So we have this coming around here. This is just like uh, another part of what the skyscraper would look like. Where if it was completed, I would have these little bands going around it all. I don't want to do them on any floors below. Or I can do them on the parts where the scaffolding isn't, obviously. Uh, I don't want to do all the floors below because I didn't know where, this, where exactly I was going to put the scaffolding. And I didn't want to put all these blocks down. And then take them away again just to put the scaffolding on. But what we can do is like here. We can have it and join it up. And it, it, it does two jobs. One, it makes the skyscraper look a little bit wider. Uh, adds a little bit more depth. And two, it actually adds uh, like another shade to the skyscraper. An, an extra point of focus uh, that sort of stands out a little bit more. So, aesthetical. Uh, aesthetical and... Um, for actual the, the actual construction as well. This one would have it around here. Like this. And I want to go a few layers up above as well. And uh, it, it also enhances the fact that the, skyscra the skyscraper gets unfinished and somewhat thinner towards the top. You know, at the bottom here, it's very wide because of the uh, scaffolding. It gets a little bit thinner as the scaffolding gets thinner. Uh, but then um, we have these slabs, and then it go, it's going to go to no slabs. So although the, the, the actual size of the skyscraper doesn't get thinner, the detail around it does, so it gives it that sort of illusion. And this is the last one. And I think these go really well just to break up a bit of that brown as well. I like the brown, but I like, I like the silver or the grey in between it. Whoops. I like everything about... There's nothing about this skyscraper at the moment that I don't like. Uh, I'm really, really chuffed about it. Obviously, we won't have grass on the floor around here. We'll actually have, like, dirt uh, and muck and brown sort of colours as, as it's all sort of being kicked up by the uh, diggers and, and, and uh, machinery that we'll have. We'll build later on around the bottom here. I don't have any uh, mods that actually put in... Uh, tract or not tractors but diggers and stuff like that maybe I should have a look to see if there are any digger mods uh, that would look pretty cool like this I'm sure there isn't a crane mod as much as, as cool as that would be you imagine that like a crane mod in Minecraft and you can sort of sit in it and like move the big like boon arm around and like pick blocks up and stuff like that that would be cool but I don't think 
there's anything quite like that. So, we'll have to go old school. We'll have to do something that I'm very, very happy about doing. Which is building the crane ourselves out of blocks. Obviously, it has to be a yellow crane. Every crane that has ever been called a crane should be yellow. I don't like red cranes or blue cranes. Uh, orange cranes, I don't mind. I don't mind orange cranes. But uh, they definitely should be yellow. Yellow cranes, they, they just look the best. They look the most iconic. I don't know why. Maybe in a uh, country that you live in, maybe uh, uh, you have a different opinion. Maybe all the cranes that you ever see are green or something like that. So in your head, um, green is the correct color. But for me, whenever I see a crane, it's always yellow. And whenever I see a different, uh, a different color, I'm like, what are you doing? You're ruining it. Some things just need to be certain colors. I, I've always said this uh, about cars. Certain brands of cars look the best in certain colors. Now, again, some of you guys might have a slightly different... I'm going to do this one as well. Some of you guys might have a slightly different opinion to me on this. But Lamborghinis should always be yellow. Ferraris should always be red. Uh, Audis should always be white. They always look the best in white. Um, McLarens should always be orange. BMWs should always be blue, uh, like a dark blue. Um, what other colours are? Or like, or what other like standout ones are? Like, you can sort of there is just some some colours that just stand out, and they they just look the best in them. Like when you see a Lamborghini, that's like KSI's Lamborghini. He's got like a where well, it's not purple and it was purple and orange. I think it's now black and red, and it looks cool. It looks really good. But it's not a yellow Lamborghini. They just look the best. This is looking stunning, right? See what I mean by the bigger at the bottom and the thinner at the top? We're really getting that effect now. And boy, is it looking like complete there and not up there. Oh, I'm so happy about it. Uh, another thing that I want to do is sort of like scaffolding, but s sort of not. Um, I want to have... They're almost like window cleaning boxes. If you've ever seen like people clean skyscraper windows, they always have these in a box. Uh, they have the same thing on when they're constructing the building as well. So we want some strong looking metal. I might actually go... No. Um, moss. That one. This one. Uh, yeah, up here. I'm going to go one block wider. Two blocks wider. I'm going to anchor it to this. I'm going to sort of build it around it as if it's been held onto it. And the same over here. I'm going to have to go up a few blocks with this one. I'll go up two blocks. So it's a little bit higher than that one. Like that. And then we're going to get these ones. Uh, that block. And this is going to... Uh, I think I actually want it one block further out. Oops. I'm just going to add another one, make it a little bit thicker, make it a little bit stronger looking. But also just brings it out by one block here. Have one there and one there. Yeah, that's good. And I want this to come down fairly far. Come on now, steady. Down. Down to about there. And the same on this side. Steady now. It's so hard to place them because your your character sort of floats and moves about a little bit when you're facing down for some reason. And then what we do is we put this as a, a as a cage almost around it to try and help them stop falling out. Ooh. Like this. Uh, we get slabs to go underneath. Obviously, we're going to use the oak because it blends in with all the other scaffolding and, and stuff like that around the area. And then we put these on here. And beautiful. So that's the sort of thing that gets, it gets pulled up and down. Uh, so they can like get to each level. Sort of like the elevator of the place if you like. And that way they can go from that scaffolding and they can go up to, onto to each level. It just looks so cool, doesn't it? Okay, what else? I got a Google image search of... What did I Google? Skyscraper construction. And again, most of the cranes are yellow. There's a few icky red cranes in there. Uh, we can't start the crane today. We don't have time. Um, but what I do want to do, one of them has yellow tape or, or, or tape at the top. 
and that's something that I would really like to do. Um, clay. I might use red tape. It does the same thing. And have it going around the top here. Almost like, uh, be careful, this is the edge if you're on the top sort of style thing. Again, it also adds another colour to the skyscraper, another sort of focal point. And that one. Uh, and that one. I might add another one to this one, depending on the height as well, on this corner. Oh no, that one's good. Uh, all the way around here. One, two. Like that. And I'll do it along here as well. So there's just, it's just a nice little touch, just a little bit of red at the top there. And I love how you can sort of see, I know that whole idea is to see through it because there isn't any walls or anything completed. But I just love that look. It's so looking like a half, a half built skyscraper. I think the skyscraper itself is pretty good. <coughs> it's pretty much done. The surrounding area though, isn't. Step number one is to take away this horrible icky grass. Uh, and I think what I want to do to sort of help me along with this a little bit, I'm going to come over here, so we've got a little bit of a building area. And I'm going to just set, for the moment, set this to 98, any block, that'll do. Uh, just so the grass doesn't spread over, because I want to set all of this to dirt. Dirt. Ooh, all of this to uh, set, no, replace grass with dirt, just so in case anything else is under there, it doesn't move. Now I'm hoping... All of that should be dead. Grass dies when it doesn't have any light to it, doesn't it? I'm pretty sure grass needs light to it for it to grow. Um, so it shouldn't, like, I'm hoping that it doesn't grow from, like, down here somewhere or something silly like that. Hopefully it'll sort of all stay being, being dirt. 100% looks better already. But I also want to add some other different colours here. Podzol looks a little bit wet, a little bit more broken. We don't have coarse dirt because this is what Minecraft 1.7 but we do have brown wool, and we have this color clay, which is like a like a wet mud clay almost. And I might no, I'm not. I was thinking about using a brush to do this, but uh, I think by hand will probably be a little bit better. So we're gonna add some clumps of this. Just sort of go around, make it bigger as you go. Ooh, we're gonna have to make it a little bit bigger to catch up with that sort of go around keep adding more i'm deliberately leaving one block Ooh, i should probably leave two blocks actually because of that post there i'm deliberately leaving those two blocks around the edge uh, because we're going to want to have some sort of construction no entry wall uh around the side using iron bars uh as like a chain link fence almost there we go so there's sort of one pile of muck that's sort of been Hiccup thrown up. Uh, some brown wool. This one I'm actually going to mix in with, I think, a little bit of this, probably. Uh, I don't want the whole thing being brown. It looks a little bit like a giant lump of poo. Um, so having a little bit of brown in here, I think, will help a little bit. Let's start off, in fact, by doing another clump of clay and then add some brown in after. I think that will be the smartest way to do it, most consistent way to do it. And the brown is just going to be there like it's... Like they've dug up a few little like mineral bits that are in, was in the ground around here. It was like a, uh, like an unknown pocket of something. Uh, there could be one block free on this side so I can come out to there. And build all this out. Trying to get the most natural, unpatternized um, clump as I possibly can. I think we're doing a pretty good job. It doesn't look like it's been... It's been built, and then put some little brown bits in here. I don't like that one there. There we go, I like that. See what I mean? It just adds that sort of extra little bit. Uh, we can have a digger in here. Um, and a, well, I might have the, where do I want the, where do I want the crane? Oh, I can have the crane here. No, I'm going to have a clump of dirt there. I think we'll have to have the crane and the digger on this side. I might extend that line out a little bit further. The crane can go here. That would be the great spot for the crane. And a digger here. 
But I think we are going to have some more. I remember uh, something that I'd done on the last city. Set 98. On the last city was I had, um, what do you call it? Little porter cabins in there as well. And, uh, and that was really useful because uh, it, it looked like it was an actual construction site. Uh, set dirt. Um, yeah, it looked like it was an actual construction site. It was a little white cabin with like some little blue details on them. Little flat roof. Looked really, really nice. I think that's a pretty good size now. Uh, we want to have a restraining wall going all the way up. In fact, I'm going to do that and I shall be back, okay? All right, so I've got the uh, fence now all the way up. I think it's a good height. It's four blocks high. That seems to be sort of a decent height. But what we need to do is we need to make a little hole in it for vehicles to get through, the diggers and stuff like that, to be able to get in and out. So we want a pretty wide one. I think I'm going to go that wide. And then I'm going to go with a couple of iron bars. I need to do it two blocks thick, so they actually sort of join up like that. And like this. And I'm going to get some yellow. And some black. We're going to go yellow. Oops. Black, yellow, black, yellow, black, yellow, black. It's like an elongated bumblebee along the top there. So it's like a maximum. I don't know why you'd have a maximum height on there, but I think it looks good. I think it looks good. So I have that on there. Perfect. This is looking so cool. Porter cabin to go in here. Uh, I could do that today. Why not? Uh, we want to have the legs. These are always built off the ground. Uh, it doesn't need to be that big either. I'm going to do it that size, however big that is. And I want uh, blue as the base. Like this. I might as well fill it all in by hand. Uh -huh. All the way along. And then obviously white. Most porter cabins are sort of a white or a grey. Uh, around here. Uh, this I can use welded for. It's been nice, uh, a little bit quicker. Uh, three blocks tall. From there to there. Replace air with snow block. And uh, I know I can use the wall commands. I find it slower. The wall command I find slower uh, when, when doing this kind of thing. We'll have a window in here. A couple of windows in that side, a window in that side, a couple of windows there, and a door in like that. Glass. Uh, I'm going to use black stained glass. It's always They've always blacked out a little bit for some reason on these porter cabins. Uh, like that. Sometimes they have actually like uh, iron bars as well covering the windows. I suppose so people don't break in and steal like the computers and stuff. Uh, door. Do we have a cool door to put over here? Nothing really that I like. A factory door. I mean, it doesn't open like an actual door, though, does it? It's a little, a little bit too futuristic. Slab. We'll leave the door open. Uh, slab on top of this. Nice, clean-looking slab. Uh, nothing, no texture on it or nothing like that. I like it. I like this one. And uh, we don't need to worry about doing any roof details, like uh, I usually do, like the aircon units, because these things don't have them. They're just a roof. I should know. I've got plenty of these uh, in my garden. Stairs to get in. Uh, this one. No. Scaffolding stairs will be perfect. Grey ones. Yeah, look at that. So we can come up and inside here. Ooh, can I get out? I can get out. There we go. Digger, crane. That'll finish it off superbly, don't you think? Let's take a quick look on the sh with the shader packs on before we end off the episode. Always takes a little couple of seconds to... There we go. I'm going to go uh, down on the floor. Yeah, I'm going to go down on the floor and see like an upwards view of it. Just let it load. Get all the surrounding areas in. There we go, look. Oh, yeah, 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 with the, with the construction thing. That might be the thumbnail. There we go. Thumbnail saved. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that looks so cool. If you guys enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you haven't already, then feel free to subscribe. We shall see you in the next episode.